This is my favorite everyday foundation. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 7th day of my 10 day foundation series. I was only talking about the matte foundations for past 6 days but from today onwards I will be talking about the hydrating foundations. Today I am going to review an another foundation from the brand Nykaa. I am talking about the Nykaa Skin Genius Sculpting and Hydrating Foundation. So guys keep watching this video and before that please subscribe to my channel. Being a Nykaa foundation, it is only available on Nykaa website. The 30 ml bottle retails for Rs. 575. Total 6 shades are available. I am in the shade 02 Almond Beige. You can check the shade references of my other foundations in the description box. Now I will test out this foundation. So guys, this is my clean moisturized face. Now I am using the Pack Zero Pore Separation Cream as primer on the right side of my face. I always use primer at that place only wherever I have large pores, not everywhere. Now I am using the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation. Its consistency is extremely runny. Okay, now I will be blending out my foundation on the right side of my face with the help of a damp sponge. Spongy is soaking up all the product. I'm hardly getting any coverage. Let me apply more. It is a sheer coverage foundation. Even after second layer, I am not getting any coverage. Okay, now I will blend out my foundation on the left side of my face with the help of a brush. With the brush, I am getting better coverage. So I would suggest you to blend out the foundation with the help of a brush or just use your fingers. The foundation is really blendable so if you want to blend out this with your fingers you can do that. Yes, this is a sheer coverage foundation so you can easily see every pigmentation of my face so I need to use another concealer but the finish is really beautiful my skin is looking very smooth it is not very sticky or tacky I like the right side of my face more as I used primer but difference is not very prominent so if you don't want to use any primer you can skip this the finish is really beautiful it is looking very natural nobody can understand that something is on 
it is looking that natural it is a hydrating foundation so no dry patches okay now I will use a concealer I am using the wet n wild photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny little bit under my eyes okay now I will blend it out Okay, now I will be using a loose finishing powder. Here I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Okay, this amount is enough. After powdering my face, my skin is looking more beautiful, it's looking very smooth, very nice, I'm really impressed. I'm just not getting beautiful coverage, that is the only issue, otherwise it's looking really beautiful on me. Okay guys, I will check my foundation again after 2 hours. So guys, this is my face after 2 hours. The foundation is looking as it is. Both sides of my face are looking equally smooth. But the foundation has rubbed off completely from my smile lines. And this is my skin after 6 hours. Just a little trace of foundation is present. But my skin texture is still looking smooth. So guys, at first I will be talking about the pros of this foundation. This foundation is really hydrating, it blends beautifully, it blows out my skin texture really well and this foundation doesn't crease much in my smile lines. Now coming to the cons. This foundation is little bit sticky, it is a sheer coverage foundation, it doesn't stay for a longer time and this foundation also gives flashback. Oily skin girls, I won't recommend you to buy this foundation as it is a hydrating foundation. Dry skin girls, you will love this foundation. Textured skin girls, this foundation is really good for blurring your skin texture. This is my favorite everyday foundation. But if you have very stubborn acne marks or hyperpigmentation, it can't cover up any of them. So guys, hope this review was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you tomorrow again with another foundation review. Take care.